So a couple days ago, this incredible item was found. I had quickly shown it in my last video, but I didn't talk about it yet. This item will make builds possible that we could have only dreamt of. From crazy efficiency and weight to just wonky builds. Now sit back and let me tell you everything you need to know about this overpowered railing. So before I show you how to get it, let's talk first about what actually makes this item so special. Even though it is a mid-sized item, it is incredibly lightweight. Thanks to Edward Ned Harvey weighing it for the community, we know that the precise weight is two apples. Besides that, for some reason, it has incredibly low air resistance. It behaves like a tumble weed or a sail in that regard. A small wind is already enough to move the object. And it seems that these type of objects are the only ones that you can detach from an auto build without them disappearing. We don't know why that is, but as I will show you now, the item was never really intended to be used by players, so Nintendo probably did not care to give the item realistic properties. Now to get this item, you need to head into the right leg depot inside the depths. The fastest way there is to quick travel to Wozikosh light route and then glide over there. Now credit for finding out you can remove certain parts probably goes to YouTuber Charcoal Gaming, who used stakes in the past to get items. Show them some love, they have only 13 subscribers right now and truly deserve way more. This however got quickly revolutionized by reddit user Sortos, who found the cheapest and easiest method to get these sort of items. Once you are in the right leg depot, look out for these elevators. Then remove the fans that are closest to the open railing and attach two stabilizers horizontally on top of it. If you now activate the machine, the stabilizers will bend the railing until it breaks off. If it doesn't work and the stabilizers break off instead, just try again. Now that we have the railing, we can attach something to it to have it saved in auto build. There's a couple uses for this item. Item. It can both be used as a proper build material or you can use a glitch to move it. To do the glitch, you need to stack a bunch of them on top of each other. As each railing gets pushed by wind, so the more railings, the faster you get. For this build, I add a stabilizer because I only want us to go up. You can tinker around with many different builds for this. Then drop the fan, activate it and hold it under the railings. I get the best results when putting it right on the edge of the railing. If you did it right, you shoot the zoom through the air instantly. Now the low air resistance also helps us in actual builds. For example, the hoverbike, or as I like to call it, the skycycle, can be improved with this item. You don't need more than one fan to get you, a control stick and the railing up into the air. But you can also use the railing for bigger builds. For example, right here I built an airplane out of a bunch of railings and as you can see I only need a couple fans to get into the air and it appears very maneuverable. Now what does this mean for the game's future? A lot actually. There is many more items like this one spread across the map and inside shrines. They are usually attached to the environment and can be ultra handed. Until now everyone ignored these, but now we have to revisit all those places, try to disattach the items and see what their properties are. Every single item could be its own revolution of vehicle building in this game. Now we just have to pray that Nintendo doesn't patch this as soon as they see it, but I'm not keeping my hopes up. If you want more guides like this, feel free to subscribe, that would honestly help me a lot. What I can promise is at least 3 Zelda videos per week and that I will always go straight to the point and not try to scratch the video. I mean be honest. Your favorite YouTuber would have probably done an 8 minute video out of this single item. Now enjoy tinkering around with this fun item and I will see you in the next video.